What's up, YouTube? Man, hey, I got another Bluetooth speaker for you, man. It's the UE Wonderboom. This thing is brand new from Ultimate Ears, and I think Logitech actually makes UE. So this is basically a Logitech speaker, right? It's their UE brand of products. Spoiler alert, I don't know if you can tell by now, but I like this thing, man. It's, little, it's like a about a softball size little speaker, man. This is just all right. I like it a lot. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. So here's the deal. Um, I'm just gonna get right into this review. There really isn't an unboxing. Of course, it comes with your USB charger and stuff like that. Uh, not a charger, but the, the, the cord. Um, but let me tell you about some things I like about this speaker, man. First of all, the size. Like when we talk about micro and super portable, this is what I mean by micro and portable, all right? So uh, it fits in the palm of your hand. Well, I don't know. I don't really have huge hands, but I don't have small hands either. But I would say it's the size of a softball, right? Um, it's got these big old buttons on it and it's got this little lanyard right here and it's actually kind of a bungee style this is designed for you to just you know grip it with your finger or um, maybe put a, uh, a d-ring or a, a carabiner clip on there and just clip it to whatever you want to clip it to it's got real tactile buttons and it's it's pretty minimalistic but my favorite thing about this thing is not that it's waterproof it's not that it's drop resistant my favorite thing about this thing is that no matter where you are you still gonna hear the same quality of sound 360 degrees around this thing. Now, I've had my deals with uh, Logitech or UE boom speakers before. I really didn't think they sounded that great compared to other stuff like JBL and Sony and some other stuff out there. Uh, but I think they might have got it right with this one. Um, one thing I do not like is the price range. This is a $100 speaker, man. It's brand new on the market. If you want to buy it and you got to buy it now, you got to pay that buck. But I would say maybe 90 days, six months, it's gonna drop down because I do believe this is a $80 speaker. Um, it's definitely worth $80, but if you gotta pay the 100, go for it. But man, you get some really good sound out of this thing. Now, I will tell you right now, it's not a boom box, okay? There's not a lot of bass coming out of this thing. You will hear some bass presence, but this thing, it actually produces really good crystal clear sound. Now, there is distortion on the high end of the volume, so uh, turn it down a notch or two and everything gets right back to where it's supposed to be. And 360 degrees around this thing, you get crystal clean sound. All right, let's take a look around this thing. You got a couple of buttons up top. You got your power button, which um, there's an audible tone when you turn it on and off. Um, this is something that, this is an outdoor speaker, man. So if you're gonna be listening to this by the side of your bed before you go to sleep, that might wake the person next to you up. I don't know how you feel about that, that tone right there. It's kind of it's kind of bassy, actually. Uh, there's a multifunction button right here that acts as a play and pause and also a forward skip. Then turning this thing around, you got a flap right here with just a USB charging uh, port. They took out the um, they took out the uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, you know what? I, I don't know how to feel about stuff like this where they're getting rid of the headphone jacks, but honestly, I, I kind of get it on this speaker because it's supposed to be a portable speaker, man. And you're supposed to just drop this thing on a table or on the ground somewhere and just press that button and Bluetooth it because it connects immediately as soon as you turn it on. So honestly, I don't feel the need to have a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in here, but I get it. If you're upset about it, don't buy the speaker. Now let's talk about durability. Uh, they got this, you know, it's fully submersible in water up to three meters, I believe, but it actually floats. So that's pretty awesome, man, that you can just dunk this thing in water by accident, of course, and it's gonna float and still play the music. I'm not gonna water test this thing because I don't do craziness like that on purpose. I think it's just crazy. Um, but it's, it is drop resistant and you can see right here, it's got this uh, soft rubbery coating where it might even just bounce a little bit after you've dropped it. So that's really cool that this thing is super durable. It is designed to be outdoors. Now back to the sound. Um, the sound, it, it's a loud speaker. So I would compare the loudness to the JBL uh, Charge 3. It is the exact same loudness, right? Now sound quality is right on par with that speaker too. Honestly, I think it's a direct competitor to the JBL Charge 3. It just doesn't have some of those extra features. Um, but as far as sound goes, yes. As far as bass, maybe not as much bass as, as the Charge 3, but it's a very, very close competitor in that department too. But what you get here that you don't get everywhere else is 360 degrees of sound. That means you don't have to put this in a one spot and then have your party over here. You can put this thing right smack dab in the middle of the party uh, and then just have people around and everybody's gonna hear the same music. Now, I will tell you something that I did notice. While this thing works great indoors, um, 
you know, at moderate volumes, it actually kind of fills up the room. It doesn't fill up the room in a warm kind of way. It's, it's just music, right? So it doesn't engulf the room in, in bass and in deeper sounds, uh, but it does, it does kind of fill up the room, just not in that way, if you understand what I'm saying. But this thing actually performs a lot better outdoors. Um, I mean, seriously, it is an outdoor speaker and it actually performs better outdoors. That's crazy to me. I put it outside in a parking lot at my studio and I just wanted to hear what it sounded like if I walked far away. Now, when they boast a hundred feet of Bluetooth uh, connectability, whatever you want to call it, they weren't lying, man. I walked so far away from this thing and it was still playing music and it wasn't skipping, but I could still hear it. It just, and I could hear a little bit, call me crazy, but I think I might have heard a little bit more of the bass resonance from this thing from being outside versus indoors. I don't know what it was about my situation. Even tried it out in my backyard. It worked the same way. It just performs better to me outdoors than it does indoors. Um, but I really like this thing, man. Super portable. And this is what I believe a Bluetooth, uh, this is what I believe a portable Bluetooth speaker should be right here. I just don't like that the price is so steep. I think they need to shave about 20 bucks off this thing and they'll be perfect with this. Great quality sound coming out of here. Once again, it's not a boom box, so I don't expect a whole ton of bass coming out of this thing, but you will hear some good clean music so you can throw a nice little privatized outdoor party. Now it's not gonna rock the party, but you definitely got some good clean music, man. I really like this speaker. A uh, couple more notable things, uh, 10 hours of battery life. Now we always know that they overestimate battery life on this thing, but I guess if you're gonna play this thing at max volume the whole time, I'm guessing about six hours of battery life. And at moderate uh, volume, I would say, you know, play it safe at about eight hours of battery life. Also, if you got two of these, but you spent 200 bucks. So maybe your homie's got one and then he brings it over. Y'all got two, now you got stereo sound so you connect these. And I think you can actually connect more than one. So if you got a hundred bucks itching in your pocket for a Bluetooth speaker, should you buy this thing? I'm gonna say yes, simply because even though I don't like the price tag, you gotta pay for what you want if you want the brand new item. And this is it. Um, I think in this price range, could you get a better Bluetooth speaker in this price range for a hundred bucks? I don't know. We'll find out because I got some more reviews I got to do. But I do know I reviewed the JBL Charge 3, which I feel like this is a direct competitor. And the JBL Charge 3 is anywhere between $25 and $50 more than this thing. I also own the JBL Charge 2. Uh, the JBL Charge 2 has more bass, in my opinion, than both of these. But this one is definitely louder than the JBL Charge 2, right on par with the JBL Charge 3 at 50 to, or 25 to $50 less. So in my opinion, yes, it's still worth the money. Um, I'm still on the search, man. So far, this one's the king of the portable Bluetooth speakers. Now, when we say portable, once again, I don't mean some big old speaker you got to have a case for or that you got to carry out here. I'm talking about something you just drop in a bag and not even notice it's there. That's still going to produce that's still going to produce good quality sound. So in my opinion, I give this thing a thumbs up and say, if you got a hundred dollars, buy this thing, man. But hey, I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews. But before I go, I'm gonna need y'all to tap on that like button, smash on that subscribe button. I'm gonna go jam me some music.